I'm starting a do-it-yourself miniature aquaponics system using an old aquarium that I've had for years and I have some comet fish it was a two dollar investment in fish and a solar pump that I already had and a Tupperware container that cost a dollar Chris my assistant is playing with the solar panel in the Sun <laughs> and um, that's got quite the power doesn't it, Chris so I'm looking for some tubing and I'm gonna have basically a three dollar investment in a home aquaponic system so if I can find some tubing that will fit that and reach up to go into the tank above then I'm gonna have drill a hole into the tank above and have a tube coming out draining back into the fish tank and if I can get the output to be equal or greater than the input then the fish will live and we'll have a happy time here and then I'll fin fill that upper container with gravel so we're setting up the home aquaponics system here so Chris is holding the solar panel in the Sun which is pretty bright and we've got maximum water flow here I've got a, a hose right here which I'm later gonna lay on top of the gravel and fill with holes so that it feeds evenly across the top of the gravel and then I've got the return lines coming from the uh, container so there will be about an inch of water in the container at all times and then the top part will not be filled, They're just uh, the bottom inch so there will always be some water in here and you can see I also have two more holes that I drilled higher which I didn't need uh, I can plug them off with a hose but that was an extra overflow and then I've got the return water pouring in with high pressure which is agitating the water nicely for the fish so that's very good and now I've got to get the gravel in there which will act as a filter medium which will then uh, clean the water and I gotta get some plants in here so this is going to be filled up to the top with gravel flush to the top with gravel I might eventually even reduce that water level a little bit more I'm not sure if uh, probably not optimum because you don't want a lot of water in there but then again you want some in there for the uh, the way my system is working uh, eventually I'm gonna set up a timer so that I'll have the system fill up and then it drain and then fill up and then drain and fill up and drain but for now this is just a very simple and basic system just for a demonstration and to get some veggies growing out here and then I've got to cover this up on, um, I want to cover all but the back side so I can monitor the fish but I want all the sides and the top covered so that algae doesn't grow in there but there it is there's uh, the beginnings of an aquaponic system went down to the creek and got some gravel just free for the scooping now I'm going to put it into here and then I uh, can put some plants in alright there's my completed grow bed filled and ready I had to let some water out of the system now here unfortunately some of the fine sand has clouded up the water but that'll filter itself out now all on its own it's gonna filter itself out through the medium so I've got the water going in over here and then it's leaving over here now you might notice a difference where here there's a lot of finer stuff and here there's some bigger stuff I put I handpicked larger stones and gravel and put them in over here by the uh, exhaust tubes to prevent any gravel from filling up the tubes and what I did is I just filled this whole section with larger gravel so as to prevent that from plugging these and it is working well now you might hear a funny sound if you can see the uh, tubes you can see air is being sucked through so the system is working well and it's actually sucking air through the gravel as it uh, as the water escapes so I have a finely balanced system now it's working well the uh, the exhaust is running back into the fish tank at the same speed as the water pump is putting water up into the grow bed so next I've got to get some plants in here and uh, I've got myself an aquaponic system well, the sun is down and the water has stopped flowing for the day the water's cleared up pretty decently um, I'm for sure a couple hours of running and it'll be clean tomorrow 
And uh, I'm going to dig up some plants and put them in here. Look around and see what I have. And get some, uh, some lettuce or something growing in here. And then I'll have it complete. So I figure tomorrow that will be clean and pure. And then the whole system will be running uh, smooth and efficiently. And then I'm going to put a battery down here, a 6 volt battery, because that's a 6 volt pump. And I'm going to run the uh, solar panel to the battery and the battery to run the pump. So that runs day and night. That'll be best. That'll be more efficient for that. And then eventually I'm going to put a, a timer on that so that it runs at 50% duty cycle. I have completed my miniature aquaponics setup by transplanting some lettuce and some catnip and some uh, dandelions over to my grow box. So I've got two different kinds of lettuce here. I've got two greens, I've got two of the reds. I forgot the terms of the names of them actually. I've got two catnip. Now they have wilted in the short time it took me to uproot them and bring them over here. But they should soon recover. And I've got two sets of dandelion here, which are good greens. So basically I have some some very nice uh, salads, salad greens, and some refreshing catnip, which is a relaxation herb, good for relaxing. So these should perk up pretty soon because this is quite moist soil. I just planted them minutes ago. But you can see how brutally hot it is that they have wilted so badly just in the minutes it took me to transplant them from the garden to here. Actually, they weren't looking too perky in the garden. It's quite hot. And the system is running well. The water is clearing up nicely. And the fish are looking happier all the time. I figure in an hour or so, that'll be clear.